It's the only show on TV where we want to know exactly what you think. You feel me? We go out on the quad. We go, ask, forget what he talking about. Watch my new show. Bro, what are you doing? I'm in the middle of a commercial. I'm trying to promote for my TV show. You can't promote for a TV show. I'm promoting for a TV show. What time your show come on? Tuesday at 7.15. My show comes on a Tuesday at 7.15. What's your show called? What you think? I don't know. But sure. What you think? But, I, 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 what? What you, you think? think? Hello Wildcats, my name is Jessica Estelle, representing Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, and we are live in the Dynam Hall, and you're watching BCU Campus TV. It's R.C. Mullins with MillenniumBullets.com. This is LeVar McCoy, a.k.a. Tani, with Gym Life. And we, we are, are the, the Bully, Bully team. team, and you're watching BCU Campus TV. You are watching BCU Campus TV. What's up? All right, Wildcats, thank you for staying tuned in to Wildcat Den. Of course, I'm your host, Janero Carter, and we have two Embry-Riddle ROTC cadets here, Joshua Guerrero and Bruce Federico. All right, so before the commercial break, I said that you should definitely do not turn your TV channel because you don't want to miss what's coming up next. So we're going to get to that in a minute. But first, we're going to talk about the images that we played before the commercial break. So uh, there were pictures on the beach, what seemed to be a cadet walking in the woods. So just elaborate about, you know, some of the training activities and you know uh, various locations that you all conduct uh, PT so uh, PT is very nice because we get to experience a lot of Daytona that a lot of people don't get to um, we get to see a lot of sunrises uh, just the beauty <laughs> of the beast of um, course because you have to wake up at like what 5 30 in the morning for formation and yeah so so we'll end, we'll go out to the beaches uh, or the beach every every so often um, once once a year we'll conduct a 12 mile foot march and that pretty much brings us to Sunsplash Pier all the way to Ponce Inlet, where we'll have a government vehicle will drive us back to our home school. And then we could, you know, probably will go get uh, some food afterwards. Definitely. After marching for 12 miles, at least you get a ride back. Um, you've been in the program for about four years now, so yes. um, just give, you know, a little history of the various, you know, uh, locations that you've done PT and or training. Like uh, uh, Bruce said, definitely, definitely the beach. Um, it's actually my one, one of my favorite, my favorite parts to uh, throughout Daytona to go. I can only uh, imagine being from uh, Southern California. Yeah, definitely. I'm a <laughs> beach guy. Yeah, I can't, I can't live uh, without the beach. But every time uh, I think about PT, I think about in cadences. I mean, the morning is just inspiring, seeing all of hundreds and hundreds of cadets out there. Mm -hmm. Not only us, but other branches doing mm -hmm. the same thing. Physical training is really inspiring. Now, I, I saw a picture at the uh, Daytona Speedway, and then it appeared that you all run the track. Mm -hmm. So um, do other branches sometimes run with you all? Yes, absolutely. Okay, we so have. I'm pretty sure it's very powerful and yet riveting seeing Army, of course, in front leading the way, uh, Air Force, oh, Navy, yeah. uh, Marine Corps, just all together, uh -huh. one conglomerate of an element just running around the track. Do they do 500 laps? <laughs> no, it's more, no. more like a 3K. No. Okay, so the thing that you do not want to miss is I'm going to challenge both of these young cadets here to uh, say to the best of their ability, and if, if they're going to show that ability to the um, rest of the battalion, to the world, the phonetic alphabet. So we're going to start with Guerrero. <laughs> How fast can you? And they're competing for a $5 Starbucks gift card. So okay. let's go. Okay, I'm timing this. So uh, you get us Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, uh, Foxtrot, Golf. <laughs> Hotel, uh, you know, I give up. I just give up. Disqualified. Right I'm just kidding. All right. Now, this is your make or break point. I so know. It, 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 just, it just. So I let's go. Know. Let's go. Let's go. It's on you. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, <laughs> Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, India. Just there you go. Hey. Perfect. You just beat me. 
hey, Federico, get the $5 gift card. It's actually in my truck, so you have to uh, <laughs> go out to my truck and get it. All right, so we want to, of course, thank uh, Bruce Federico, a fourth-year cadet, the S3, over at Embry-Riddle Aeronautic University, Army ROTC program, and also Joshua Guerrero. I'm not too sure what your position is. The XO. The XO. Of Bra uh, Bravo Company. Of Bravo Company. Uh, the executive officer that is. And of course, I'm your host, Gennaro Carter. Tune in next week where we might have my former co-host, Henrietta Isaac, on the show. If not, it will be another phenomenal individual. Stay safe, Wildcats. Do well on your midterms.